Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Thursday, the 25th of February, starting off with Dev Clever, where you can see the shares have been in a rising trend channel since the beginning of November. Top of the channel heading towards 50 pence, and uh, that could be the target for the shares as soon as the end of the next month on any near-term close above 30 pence, which has been uh, February intraday resistance to date. Uh, as far as support is concerned, uh, down to the 30-day uh, moving average around 23 pence, but ideally we remain above uh, the initial uh, February peak, uh, which was 24 pence uh, on, on the first session of the month. And uh, above that, looking forward to the 50 pence notional target over the next month or so. Uh, on to a stock which I've had a lot of requests for, uh, surprisingly enough. Uh, Fast Forward Innovations seems to have captured uh, the imagination. Uh, here we've got a situation where there was the initial uh, February peak around 12 pence. And uh, while we're above that, looking towards the top of the rising trend channel from August last year, as high as basically 20 pence by the end of next month or sooner. A bigger target here would be uh, a line of resistance from May last year. That's uh, heading towards 25 pence, and maybe that's the end of April target, all things being well. At this stage, only really well below uh, the 10 pence level, uh, really delaying the upside scenario. But given the way the shares spent uh, so many months consolidating uh, around the 8, 9 pence area, it's unlikely that we would see a reversal like that at this stage. A uh, stock which um, they keep asking for, for some reason, is uh, Hemogenics. Here it's interesting that uh, uh, we actually managed to find support in the uh, June cluster there, that support area there, up down to 5.2 pence, actually slightly higher uh, low, I think, so far for this month, 5.3, so that's a plus. And uh, we've also, uh, we're also, it looks like we're going to be able to uh, deliver an end of day close back above the 6.5 pence initial February support, so that would be a bear trap reversal a uh, decent bullish divergence there in the rsi window as well so much lower low for the second part of february but uh, rsi basically flat on the two um, lows there so that's a, a decent uh, signal so at least two signals here maybe three and uh, all we're waiting for now really is to uh, break the uh, september resistance line there around seven and a half pence to give us a decent uh, well, to give us a momentum signal and that would suggest the shares could then head back towards uh, the 12 to 14 pence area, which was the main resistance for last year. This stage, only really back below 5 pence, uh, really delaying the upside or recovery scenario on Hemogenics. On to a stock which uh, people are still uh, quite excited about, maybe even more so given the imminent uh, float of cellular goods tomorrow. Uh, with Canabo, uh, it was good uh, support coming in there in the mid-20s. We had the gap higher earlier in the week, and we've held uh, the 25 pence level, which is good. Uh, anything missing, I suppose, at the moment is just to sustain 30 pence on an end-of-day close basis. There's a 50-period moving average there at that level. So end-of-day close through 30 uh, could give us a move back towards 40 to 45, maybe, over the next few weeks. And a uh, big-picture target if you're a fan of the shares and want to dream of something good. Uh, would be that uh, above 25 pence, we eventually head up towards 60 pence over the next uh, one to two months. So let's see if that actually pans out. A stock which I try and avoid if I can, but um, uh, here it is today. Media Zest, the reason for trying to avoid it is because, uh, as you can see, the uh, price action is rather spiky. It has become rather spiky before it was uh, rather dead, but still spiky. So um, the worst of both worlds at the moment. But uh, what's interesting here is that... Uh, We've had support come in around the uh, 0 0.07 pence level. That was previously uh, resistance for months on end, nearly a year. And so the view is that uh, while we're above uh, uh, 007, let's say, we're heading towards the uh, 0.18 area, which is the top of the rising trend channel from uh, the summer of 2019. Best case scenario target here uh, would be uh, a meeting with a line of resistance from March last year, currently uh, hinting at a 0.3 pence target over the next two to three months but obviously while we hold above 0 0.07 a uh, stock where uh, smart buying seems to be coming in over the recent past is um, mineral and financial investments and uh, nice setup here at the moment uh, where we've got basically a uh, support coming in now uh, intraday at former resistance at 10 pence just looking really for an end of day close through 11 and a half pence which uh, shouldn't be too difficult hopefully 
And uh, if we can get that, then we'd expect 20 pence, hopefully, by the end of uh, next month. All the near-term moving average is rising, so looking quite uh, solid at the moment for mineral and financial, at least uh, unlikely to see any uh, downside, uh, especially while we're above the 10 pence. A 10 pence, or end of day, close below, back below 10 pence, the notional stop loss at the moment. On to... Uh, Another stock which is uh, very much uh, in play, and uh, here we've got um, MGC Pharmaceuticals. I thought I'd just point out that we've uh, basically found support so far uh, at uh, former initial resistance. That was between sort of four and three quarters to five pence and found new support now uh, at, in that zone. Uh, so while we're above uh, yesterday's intraday low at 4.7 pence, looking for hopefully a resumption of the uh, recent uh, uh, rally that the shares delivered towards 10 pence, 10 to 11 pence, the target there. If you're cautious on the stock, maybe wait for an end of day close uh, back above 5.6 pence, let's say, uh, which is today's and yesterday's resistance. So if we can get that uh, on a weekly close basis tomorrow, that would be a decent signal. Uh, onto a stock which uh, uh, did uh, t gave us 10 out of 10 in terms of the uh, technicals, one of the favoured setups here is a uh, an unfilled gap through resistance and that's exactly what Petroneft uh, gave us uh, la well last month in fact around the uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.8 pence level. I talked about the stock at around the 0 0.8 pence area and uh, basically we've had uh, what a, a decent move since then tripling the share price. Uh, still a bit more to go hopefully up towards 3 pence which is the top of the rising November trend channel and uh, 3 pence valid while we hold above in the initial February peak at 1.8 pence so let's see if that works out i've rather neglected uh, the uh, oil rally i wasn't quite convinced i have to say um, um and maybe other people made that mistake but uh, we've got um, a couple of stocks uh, i've included today which might uh, help the cause uh, the first one is uh, premier oil which has actually gapped through the 200 day moving average uh, very impressive indeed and also gapping through uh, that old November resistance at 26 and a half, so uh, that ties in with the uh, one of the the, the favoured signal of gapping through resistance. Uh, if we can have a, an unfilled, uh, if we don't remain, if that gap remains unfilled over the next few days, then we're looking towards 40 pence at that October resistance line projection, and uh, the stop loss on the buy argument uh, initial February peak at 24 and a half, so above 24 and a half, looking for 40 plus on Premier Oil. Uh, next stock, another one which has been um, aggressively requested is um, Pembridge and uh, already done quite well actually the shares after a, a slow start uh, here we've had um, I suppose the the best break here was the break of the 200 day line uh, towards the end of November around the uh, five pence area and since then we've sort of tracked the 50 day line uh, 50 day moving average north uh, the view at this stage is that while we're above uh, the uh, January intraday resistance at six point uh, let's call it six point nine pence uh, we could head up as high as 18 pence, which is the top of uh, the wide uh, rising trend channel from last year, and obviously retesting the initial resistance of last year as well. So uh, above um, the uh, old uh, January, January peak, 6.9, looking for 18 on Pembridge, and only really back below the 50-day moving average at 5.7, really cancelling the bull argument there. Uh, another oiler coming up. Uh, here we've got Tullow. And a bit late in the game, but still, looks like there could be much more to go. And in fact, the the sweet spot of the rally could actually be upon us now because we've broken uh, the old June peak at uh, 41 and a half pence. Uh, a decent end of day close or a weekly close above that could give us a journey towards 90 pence, which seems rather unbelievable. But uh, uh, given how long the setup's been, that is what we could be looking at over the next one to two months. Finishing off with Webis, and uh, here... A uh, nice setup in terms of the gap uh, through or above the 50-day moving average at 1.92 pence. End of day close above late January resistance at uh, 2.6 pence uh, should be enough to deliver fresh target to the upside at the top of a broadening uh, triangle from June at 4.5 pence. And that may be delivered by the end of next month. Upside argument valid while we remain above the 50-day moving average at 1.92. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.